I'm Jeff at Motion Pro. Today we'll be bleeding the brakes on this KTM off-road bike and I'll show you just how easy it is for you to bleed the brakes on your own motorcycle. So bleeding the brakes is a critical maintenance task on any motorcycle, whether it be an off-road or street application. Now you should reference your OEM manual for the service intervals as to when to bleed your brakes, but also keep in mind that harsh environments or racing may accelerate the need to bleed your brakes. Um, so as uh, contaminants or moisture draws into the system, it's really important that you flush out all that old fluid to keep your whole braking system working to its optimal performance level. So to tackle this job today, we're going to be using one of Motion Pro's innovative mini bleeders. This is a really convenient and time-saving tool that allows you to perform this whole job by yourself. Uh, today on this uh, KTM off-road bike, we'll be using the 8mm size, but we also have 10mm, 11mm, and 3 8 of an inch sizes to cover a wide variety of vehicles in the power sports industry. The tool has a few really innovative features that make it handy to use. First, it has a repositionable handle that allows you to crack the uh, bleeder open on your brake caliper, uh, as well as an integrated check valve that prevents air from sucking back into your system, and so you know you have a good strong bleed. So today we'll be working with the rear brake system on this KTM. Uh, I got some nitrile gloves on and also our 8mm Motion Pro Mini Bleeder. Um, some other supplies that you'll need will be a wrench to remove the master cylinder cap, um, a spare catch bottle for the old fluid, and some fresh brake fluid that's compatible with your system. So the first step of this job is going to be to remove the master cylinder cap to expose the fluid inside. So I will go ahead and engage my wrench on the cap, break that loose, and back it off completely. All right, so with the cap removed, I'll pull that out carefully and take a rag just to wipe any contaminants off of it and set that aside. It's also important that you look around the opening of the master cylinder and wipe clean any contaminants that may fall into the fluid inside. And if the system is particularly contaminated or has a particularly old fluid in it, you may want to go ahead and use a clean rag to soak up some of that fluid so you're not drawing all that nasty stuff through your whole system. In this case, the fluid's pretty fresh in the master cylinder, so I'm just gonna top it off with some fresh fluid. All right, now I will get the caliper set up with our eight millimeter mini bleeder in this case. Um, there's usually a rubber protective cover over the bleeder nipple, so you'll wanna go ahead and remove that and then line up the mini bleeder over the bleeder nipple. Now there is that integrated uh, rubber seal in here, so you may need to give it a little bit of a firm push and wiggle and push it all the way on until the tool engages the hex on the bleeder. Now uh, the wrench can be repositioned, so find a good spot where you have nice leverage on the, uh, on the wrench and you are almost ready to go. Um, you'll also want to grab your empty catch bottle and feed the line in place. Like so, and find a nice resting place for that. Now, I find it helpful when the fluid is running in an uphill direction, and so um, I have kind of a nice storage spot back here on the swing arm that allows that to happen. Um, so with my one hand on the brake pedal here, I will apply some pressure and the other hand can crack this bleeder open. It only takes about one eighth of a turn. And now you can see that there's fluid in the integrated check valve as well as this line. So with the check valve full, now it's just a matter of pumping the fluid through the system. And you can see the fluid and some bubbles running out. 
And the process is really just a back and forth of pumping the brake pedal and topping off the fluid level in the master cylinder. It's very important that you keep the fluid in the master cylinder at an adequate level because if you suck that dry, now air has re-entered the system and you have to start the process all over again. So again, just keep pumping and refilling until the fluid coming out of the line is clean and clear and does not contain air bubbles. So at the end of the process, I want to be monitoring the uh, fluid level in the master cylinder. And I like to just pump it down until the fluid is right at the maximum fill line. And on my last pump, I actually hold the brake uh, pedal down as if I'm traditionally bleeding and then close the bleeder off with that integrated uh, anodized blue handle. Now the pedal can be released and you can check for a nice firm feel. If the feel isn't firm after continual bleeding, there may be some uh, other damage within the braking system. Uh, we have other tools available to perform jobs like uh, caliper rebuilds or master cylinder rebuilds because a properly functioning brake system uh, should have a nice firm feel after you've gone through this bleeding process. So the brake feel with this system is excellent now. All we have left to do is uh, return the uh, master cylinder cap to its proper position and fasten that in place, and we are good to go on this side. Now the sequence is just the same for a front braking system. Um, you just have to reach up and grab that brake uh, lever rather than the pedal, um, but this uh, mini bleeder should give you a nice firm uh, pedal feel or lever feel um, just the same. So as you can see, uh, the Motion Pro Mini Bleeder makes this job super easy with its integrated check valve and repositionable handle. Uh, now the job is just about the same on a front system as the rear, and so I'm sure you'll be able to get a great brake feel on your motorcycle yourself. Uh, the Mini Bleeders are affordably priced and available from power sports retailers nationwide. So check out motionpro.com or the links below for more information and pick one up for yourself today. For more information on the products listed in this video, click on the link in the description area below. Feel free to call us with any questions or place an order at 800-969-7501. Don't forget to smash that like button, comment, share, and subscribe for all of the latest DK events, videos, and promos.